I am going to show you how quick and easy it is to put the OpenJDK on your machine. The OpenJDK uh, has a variety of different builds. Uh, you can go straight to the website, jdk.java.net. You can pull up the different versions. Uh, right now they have 10 and 11 released, and they have early access to 12 and 13, so you can download any one that you want. You also have services like uh, Amazon Coretto, uh, that's a no-cost multi-platform production-ready distribution of the OpenJDK. Uh, you can download the preview and install it. It says preview, but as you can see, it already runs on thousands of uh, different services, so it's pretty stable, I would imagine. Um, plus Amazon, you know, they're they're pretty they're pretty legit. So you can look at your type of machine, your download link, uh, installation link. So if you want to go that route, you can. It probably automates a lot of it. Uh, but we're going to actually download that JDK build. So once you get it, just open it. Like I said, this is a Windows 10 computer, so I'm going to download my zip and just extract it to a directory. In this case, I'm going to choose my C drive and I'm going to create a folder called the Open JDK. And that's where the new home for my JDK will be. So here I am on my C drive. I'm going to call this Open JDK. And once I have that created, I'm going to unzip everything to there. And we're just going to go check that out while it's extracting. Okay. See? Open JDK. And JDK 11.0.1. .1. So this is the path to the JDK. We are going to copy this. And that's all we need to see right here. But we can close that out now. And we are going to change our environmental uh, variables for our system. Okay, so once you're there, go to your environmental variables. And you have uh, variables for the user and system variables. We're going to change our system variables for our path. Right, so scroll here, see if you see path, not that regular path. Uh, in my case, I don't have one, so I'm going to create a new one. Uh, in the case that you do have one, like this one, for example, click edit. And you're going to add a new one uh, on this, right? So we're going to cancel this. But we're going to be messing with system variables. And because I have no path one, I'm going to create a new one. But like I said, if you do have a path one, click on it and then click edit. And a box should pop up where you can hit new on that. But I don't have one. So we're just going to go ahead and create one. We're going to call it path. And I am going to give the directory of my JDK slash bin. This part is important. Slash bin. Hit OK, and we're also going to create a new one, and we're going to call this Java Home, and we are going to give this the JDK path, right? So Java Home, the wherever you extracted your JDK, and then path, the JDK uh, path slash bin. Once you do that, you hit OK, and then you just open up your command prompt. CMD, right? And then we're going to type in Java version, Java dash version, open JDK version 11. So uh, just to test it out, we're going to open up IntelliJ. And I have a little simple program built in there. So you might have to go to your IDEs and reset your JDK path. For example, now I'm going to have to go to my Android Studio, my IntelliJ, my Eclipse, uh, Unity couple of other different ones and reset the path to the JDK through the IDE and all of them are probably going to have a different method of doing that a file project structure okay so it's got the JDK path right here but for example if it didn't right you just go to SDKs plus JDK and then navigate to the uh, newly installed JDK. And there you have it. Apply it. Okay. And then once you have it set, uh, everything should be kosher. So we're just going to run this program. And it should pop up a little file right here. As soon as it gets done building. Perfect, there it is. 
So there it is, a Java program executed with the OpenJD.